Hello again, everyone, for the We Can't Figure Out the Name of This show. My name is Mike Stout. I'm Tony Garcia. And we're back here with uh, Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart again. I, I'm uh, excited. Uh, even though fictionally it has been quite some time since we recorded the last episode, in reality, it's only been minutes, and I'm, I'm still right. pretty excited. Yeah. Definitely kept coming off a very high energy uh, sequence on the on the game. Yeah, and and one thing I was just thinking is like how how effortlessly they're they're making it so that I want to use different weapons, yeah. in different scenarios. Like it's it's not easy to do, and both with the level design, the enemy design, all that stuff, they're they're nailing it. I mean, I think, and this again, this is another. Uh, old old man developer moment um, you know we, we've been talking a lot about and i think one of the good ones is that, that we can sort of add to this discussion is like things that we couldn't do before that they're doing now which is very impressive you can just keep going while I'm talking. cool go for it um i think what's I mean, this is again going back to the ps2 days it was a dream to have a boss that you could climb all over during the fight. Yeah. And then, like, God of War came out, and they did it, and it was awesome, but it was very limited, right? You were climbing up their arms, and you could tell it was very... Yeah. Like, Ico does it. Like, but in the a, Colossus. Yeah. In a very, it's a very, like, tight, limited thing. And again, here, they're just doing it. You're jumping on and off the boss. You're running around. The boss finishes. You're walking down its corpse. It's just like... Yeah. You're just doing the thing. Like, here's this thing that was such a big deal... And it was like this aspirational thing, and now it's 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 doing it, and it feels just so natural. And not to say that a lot of work didn't go into it, but it just feels so easy and natural, and without limits, which is what's really amazing. Like uh, the, what, can you describe why, like uh, just a few reasons why it was so difficult to do this kind of thing on the, the PlayStation 2, like when you're talking about like moving around on a boss. Yeah, I mean, I think it just like, you know, to get characters to animate and to attach and have it not look weird, like, you know, to have that level of super accurate collision that you can walk on a character and not have all this sort of clipping going on and have the character yeah. animate well. And, you know, to have that sort of, that much sort of dynamic collision on an object that is super accurate... It's a difficult thing to do, right? I mean, yeah. you know, look, all the collision objects on our characters were spheres and and cylinders, right? Big spheres and cylinders. We didn't have walkable surfaces that we could just put on the characters. And Let alone move stuff. around. Like, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, very awesome, very cool. I love, you know, it was just great to see how, again, it's just, <clears throat> it feels like a flex at this point. I'm like, yeah, we're just going to do it. We're just going to throw this on here make it happen and it's going to be awesome and fun and uh again another just sort of knocked out of the park uh sort of thing which i thought was awesome you all come back. let me see oh i was going to see if i could afford the no i can't okay so i think i think we're going to another planet now it seems that way all right get in the ship What does it say? Phantom, Moidoy, Captain Quantum, Klatchki? Me. Attention, Resistance. I'm posting the Emperor's hit list to our network. Come on, let's fix that communicator. We've got a dimension to save before the Emperor finds us, too. Nice, well, here's your galactic go. map. I was wondering when we'd get the galactic map. So this oh, looks, this looks like uh, space combat. Repairing Clank. Oh, it does look like it. Safe space combat seems like a worthy thing to do. Let's give that a shot. Let's do this. I like this Star Tours view here. That was the first thing in the whole game that looked like a load. <laughs> and it was just a... It was half a second. It, it was a movie It was a cinematic transition. thing, yeah. yeah. hear it I am feeling a bit responsible for all of this perhaps it is because of me that the dimensions are falling apart that Ratchet and I are lost oh yeah 
Well, hey, your communicator's about to get fixed, so that's something. <laughs> the finger guns. <laughs> right. Nailing this. Great shot. It's the blarg. Where? Down there. Oh, it totally is. And the agents of those look like agents of Doom robots. So this is uh, oh, they totally very big are. agents of Doom robots. I was wondering if we'd see the agents of Doom. Part to fix you up, it's here. I hope you are right. The destruction of the Dimensionator seems to have caused a sort of dimensional cataclysm. If I cannot find Ratchet... Don't worry, Bolts. I'll get you fixed up. Promise. Oh, uh, he's a... he's a thoughtful lad. <laughs> Doesn't just want to be a robot pirate anymore. Yep, those are Blarg. It's the those things on their back. I re I totally remember that was Ratchet One, right? Uh, possibly. I mean, we did kind of blow their planet up at that point, unnecessarily too. Mm. They had it coming, but whatever. All right, what do you got for us, Mister? Oh, now we can see where the lightning rod is. Oh. So it's a, it's a, yeah, it's a combination of a couple weapons. It's got the arcing part, which is all, you know, arcing is always a good part of a lightning weapon. Oh, and it's got a charge on it? Okay. Yeah. yeah, I forget which gun that was, but it does remind me of a couple of the, one of the lightning guns that we did. Yeah, and we, uh, uh, I like that the guy just walked, walked in, in front. What the heck? Oh, it's, it's okay. That, no problem. I'm just looking, reading here, guys. Uh, the drill hammer. That's a good name. Oh, it's like it looks like the uh, revolver raider. Hmm. All right. Uh, I want this gun. Yeah, I got a ways to go. I'm just not getting enough bolts. Where's Where's the arena? Tell me, this is the arena we're going to. Zerky. You spend much time here. Yeah. This place is kind of a safe haven for the resistance. I hope the Emperor didn't find that out, too. Okay, it's not that. Is it this? Yep, that's what it is. Yeah, Battleplex, okay. Yeah, this is feeling like a bolt farming area. Um, that's just, a cute. That's a cute little animal. They should sell those. I would buy them. Oh, I got. Oh, a it's a little. It's a little. Oh, Crater Bear. Okay. So it's a collectible. Oh, wrench skins. Oh, cool. Let's go back to the default, but uh, I don't see it. Yeah, I don't see it either. Oh well. Well, that's cool. I would buy one of those. Okay, so where do I talk to this guy? Oh, he took all my weapons. I got it. Okay. Zerky's usually behind the bar. Whoa. I'm going to find the pirate with the spare parts. There's a lot to see here. Yeah. <laughs> Can we go talk to Zergy? The sooner we fix my communicator, the better. Clank's not happy with you. Don't rush oh, me, yeah, Clank. I want to look at some mechanical ball. Some mechanical ball. ball. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Is it? It's it's sort of like those beasts from the the wasteland again. Mm -hmm. All right. 
Okay, I gotta open that up. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> no. Oh. Namaste, and peace be with you, Rivet. Hey, Zerky, have you seen our favorite first mate anywhere? Mr. Zerkon's a pacifist. In this dimension. Give me the part. Did you follow me here? Another Pierre? Oh, it's Pete. To win my yes. Passion. Give me the part, Pierre. Diamond again, I tell you, my mm. heart is taken. And yet... Rusty Pete? Rusty? <laughs> Mon dieu. Your friend has a saucy tongue. My name is Pierre Lafayre. Pirate extraordinaire. I'll fight you for it. <laughs> Zerkes is a violent spree, so <laughs> take it outside. I am more lover than fighter. But for you, I will always make an exception. Ready to kick some robo-butt? I have many issues with that question. But why not? Where do we sign up to battle? There's a console on that big wall of windows over there. It's cool. I'll show you. All right. Ha! Ah! <laughs> That's great. Welcome, my friends, to Sir Khan Jr.'s Slot. <laughs> I'm so glad it's him. This sounds like uh, Richard Horvitz. Yes, this is him uh, for sure. Yeah. Probably my favorite voice actor. Right yeah, he's great. <laughs> because it's fun. Who does Klein think he is talking shit about that? <laughs> Just because his name's in the title. Clank has always been the pacifist of the group. Ratchet? Not so much. Yeah, not, not a lot. <laughs> Mr. Zircon is a bartender. I love that. Pacifist bartender. Yeah. All the violence should happen outside of his bar. Yeah. I love that illustration. Again, I love all these. Which one? The, the, the round illustration. I love all their little 2D illustrations. Oh, Always yeah. such great work on the on the 2D art. <laughs> One of the upgrades I got deals more damage the more people I hit with it. Nice. But yeah, I mean, I, I think one of the things I love about their illustrations is it's like an even more stylized version of the already stylized world which is yeah just so great and it, like there's always this uh sort of like takedown of uh you know over advertised society and everything mm -hmm. that's been a part of uh ratchet since the beginning and uh the little 2d illustrations really kind of drive it home in an interesting way yeah oh wait it's the it's the spinner box Oh, the blade balls? The blade balls. <laughs> oh, they're tough now. Yeah, they got they got some extra stuff going on, but they have the blade ball animations. That's awesome. I didn't notice that. I'm not doing as well. They're, they're digging deep for all the uh, all the, the nice references. I, the past Ratchet and Clank history. I'm not entirely sure that there has ever been a Ratchet and Clank game since 2 that did not have blade balls in it. 
Oh, it's you're like, in mod health, buddy. Be careful there. It's like having Captain Quark. Just part of what makes it ratchet. Oh, yeah. Oh, the health crates are pretty generous. 10 health per crate? Yeah, not bad. That's not too bad. I like that they're using the rifts to bring the enemies into the arena. Uh, just A, because it's on brand, but also because then they don't have to have some super complicated contrivance <laughs> to get enemies into the arena. That is so nice. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Well, that didn't work like I was hoping. You can't go wrong with a good robot pirate. Right? Yeah. I think we learned that very early on uh, in, in the Ratchet franchise. It, 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 it's definitely a throwback to a simpler time. You have a few pirate enemies, some ninja enemies, call it a day. Yeah. Make them robots so everybody knows that they're the bad guys. Yep. Oh, man. Why am I sucking so bad right now? I mean, besides the obvious reason that it's me. Oh, there's help. Oh, you got it in time. Oh. That was unfortunate. There's plenty of ammo, but I keep feeling like I don't have enough. There you go. Got through it. Whew. Did I fight Pierre? No. Ooh, nice. Oh, some armor. Okay, so now we're starting to unlock some armor for real. So now maybe we can actually play around with the armor now that we're actually unlocking it. Less attractive. Style. Oh, that was the guy that you ooed and not at at the bar. Yeah, he was cool looking. I guess, you know, you, they meant to draw your eye. And they succeeded. <laughs> the Slime Jets are very cool. Oh, the Bouncer! He's, the bouncer. He's using the Bouncer against you. Oh, no! I'm screwed. Of all the weapons. How dare he? That's mine. Oh crap. Oh, you gotta watch where you're going. <laughs> you're in a bad cycle here. I got, got juggled a little. Oh, okay, yeah, should have known the ring attack was coming. Oh, we got some missiles. We got what? Where? Yeah, they're, they're, they're going. Just oh, okay. going. That's not... Just focus on winning the game. You don't have to listen to my commentary. All right. I will do. All right. Let's get this guy in there, because that seems to work. Now I have hope that the bouncer is actually going to be in the game, and I'm very excited. <laughs> I mean, oh. it's practically all of the work done already, right? Yeah. Okay, I, I probably have to pay attention to all of these other enemies. I've been trying my best not to. Ooh. 
Very nice. Didn't, today is not the day I have to take down the difficulty, <laughs> but that day is coming. Man, I suck at this. A defeat? But how? Oh! Eventually and dramatically, I will get my revenge. But here, yeah, take your back. <laughs> Eureka! She's done it. Ratchet, can you hear me? Ratchet, can you hear me? Clank, are you okay? Where are you? I saw that Lombax take you in. I am fine. In fact, I am with the Lombax now. Hey, I'm Rivet. What? Hi! Wow, this is... Oh, wait, okay. I, I have to tell you something. Dr. Nefarious just crowned himself emperor of this dimension. He did what? No, 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 no! I've got my hands full with my own Nefarious! That's the thing. We've got to get him and us out of here, but without the Dimensionator... I think we have to build a new one. I met a prophet from Savali named Gary. He would know what to do. I'm only a few sectors away from there. I can go check it out. What can we do? Do you have the planet Blizzar Prime in this dimension? Yeah. Why? We can locate the phase quartz used to power the Dimensionator there. If I am right, we will be able to recreate the device in no time. I guess we better get started then. I'm glad you're okay, buddy. You too, Ratchet. Be careful, Be careful out, out there. there. Wow. Another Lombax. That was Let's adorable. This thing. <laughs> I hope they become friends. <laughs> they have they have similar interests like a clank. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, well, I think that's enough for... I want to take a look at the armor you just got. Let's, okay. uh, let's, give, it a, let's give that a look. Do that. All right. So you got the boots. You got the pirate boots. Robot pirate boots. Oh, damage from pirates reduced by 50%. Oh, you, you get pants with it, apparently. Cool. What does it look like? Ah, pretty good. The orange masters my scarf. I wonder if you can get the rest of the armor from the... Uh, from the arena. The tail's got a tail. Yeah. Gotta, gotta uncover the tail. Uh, I see. So there's a, a head, uh, chest, and a legs. Yeah. Okay. I'd like to go to the arena console and see if they have the other. Yeah, so this is the full Carbonox armor. Ha! Huh. Trophy. Okay. Nice. Okay. Uh, what did you say? Go to the you? arena terminal to see if you can unlock the other armor. So go into the bronze. Okay, so these are all just bolts. Maybe, so it might be in here later. We can't see everything. But yes, this we're definitely onto the arena track. So, like if you cool. wanted to do some bolt farming, this looks like it's going to be the place to do it. Cool. Very cool. Yeah, that, so for the This Is So Cool, Very Cool podcast, my name is Mike Stout. I'm Tony Garcia. And we'll catch you next time.